It's Simon Pegg week at the movies, in case you didn't know. The veteran actor co-wrote the screenplay for Star Trek Beyond and provides one of the voices in Ice Age Collision Course. Now, if there was a place for him in Lights Out, he probably would have done that, too. The biggie, though, is Star Trek Beyond, the latest installment in the rebooted science fiction series. In this outing, Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock are wrestling with emotional issues. Sulu worries about his same-sex marriage, and a bad guy named Krall is threatening the Enterprise's world. It's a fast-paced, action-packed two hours, thanks largely to director Justin Lin, the man behind Fast and the Furious. Zachary Quinto as Spock has feelings for Zoe Saldana's Uhura, and Carl Urban's Scotty becomes enamored with an alien he meets on a planet they're forced to visit. The film gives each of the main characters plenty of time to shine, and the end credits offer a tip of the hat to Leonard Nimoy and Anton Yelchin, the two cast members who died before this was released. Trekkers should love where this goes, even though Lynn is more interested in the journey, not the destination. Star Trek Beyond keeps the series on track, and more important, gives us one of those big summer movies that's actually worth its weight in popcorn. He likes that scene. Collision Course, however, has a few more problems with its purpose. Because producers have exhausted every possible extinction scenario with the four previous films, this one has to divert with a wedding and a lot of stray characters. Manny and Ellie, voiced by Ray Romano and Queen Latifah, aren't exactly happy with the impending marriage of their daughter Peaches to the unsettled Julian. Now, if you recognize Julian's voice, you're right. It's Adam Devine, the Dave in Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. And yes, this sort of plays out like that film. Wildly out of control, it brings in a range of characters, including Simon Pegg's Buck, and offers a new age community where even more marketing opportunities loom. And open our minds. Down our dog! Scrat, the acorn-chasing mammal, still steals Ice Age, which begs the question, why don't they just make a Scrat movie? He's the reason we watch, the others just get in the way. And finally, there's Lights Out, another scary film that tries to fray the bonds between mother and child. Maria Bello plays a mentally unstable mom who has somehow passed her hallucinations on to her grandson. The mom in the middle, then, has to figure out how all this shakes down and how she can make it better. He feeds on. The film is packed with frightening Lights Out moments that should get you to spill a lot of that Star Trek popcorn. There's a lot to consider in this week's films, but if you're planning to see all three in one day, just make sure you hydrate. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.